play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Dating apps are not hard. Literally have your tits out, troll on the app, and then when you get on the date, ask them about urban planning. And then use what the last guy said to impress the next guy, and he'll kiss you in about 15 minutes. You, pro you won't even want it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the desert. I hope that you're all doing fine. I hope that you are bubbly and happy, guys. I hope that you're manifesting and attracting all the right vibrations. But that is about to change. We're going to get into some bad vibrations. As we're going to take a look at a woman trying for the third day to be on the dating apps as a man. Let's see how that goes. Let's change Ampu back to being smiling. Uh, and let's see, guys. And then for our article story... Uh, we'll have the dating experience of a man. So we're going to be talking about dating. Let's have a look. So one of my guy friends gave me permission to make a Hinge account for him because I was telling him how easy dating is with dating apps. And he was telling me that it's incredibly difficult. And I was like, Pete, you must be doing something wrong. And he gave me permission to create an account for him and just run the account. I've been a virtual boy for three days. And I've, I've never felt this bad about myself. Well, we have a well, well, well moment right here. Gentlemen, let's play that again. I've, I've never felt this bad about myself. I feel like a freaking loser trying to get these girls to like me. And I'm starting to hate women. Because I'm like, when I say I, I mean Pete. Because that's the account I'm using. Pete's about a six. But I'm so desperate. I'm liking the twos and the threes. And even they won't like me back. Pete, which is a six. Um, so what level of delusion has entered women's head heads? Like what is going on? It is so difficult dating as a boy. I hate it. I'm on day three of being a boy and I hate women and I'm depressed more depressed than ever. Well, well, well. <laughs> but then when I hate women, it's a problem, right? Women are allowed to hate women, but when I hate them we have a problem. And I have to be taken to jail just because I... Well, anyway, gentlemen, uh, the point is that the reason why I know that we men are right and correct on most issues that we share is not because I'm trying to cope. It's not because that suits me better and it's convenient. No, no, gentlemen. It's because when women are put in our shoes, they also hate women and women's behavior and modern uh, females. You know, so it's not at all something that just happens to be convenient to us, the red pill. No, it's objectively true. If women were men, even for three days, this is three days, her uh, self-esteem has gone on a down spiral, right? If women were put on our shoes, I mean, guys, let alone for three years, let alone for 30 years, there have been men and there are men that for 30 years have been on, on the same dating apps, getting no attention at all. Um, their confidence just keeps decreasing, and for a reason. And a lot of these men don't even deserve it. Uh, this guy, P, according to her, is a 6. Let me tell you, there are some men that are 7s, there are even some men that are 8s. And they're getting no attention at all. She's hitting the 1s and the 2s. They're not paying her attention. It's just insane, gentlemen. And women, they pretend that we are whiners. They call us uh, eye cells. I cannot say the word, but they call us eye cells and all that. When in reality, guys, it has nothing to do with being a whiner. It has nothing to do with being an eye cell. It has no, oh, it's lack of confidence. No, B word. You put yourself in our situation and we'll see how that goes. Gentlemen, let's move on to another TikTok. Oh, crap, I clicked it twice and I liked it. I can be seen liking this crap. Right, I disliked it. Let's move on. A man left me at a bar after he found out I slept with a black man. So I met this guy online and we decided that we were going to go on a date. We were only talking for a couple days, but it was going well. And I was like, hey, it's Sunday. Uh, what are you up to today? You want to watch some football? We'll get a drink. And he was like, yeah, for sure. So we met at a bar. We're hanging out. I am not one that's like, how many people have you slept with? What's your number ball? We're fucking adults. I could care. Are you clean? I don't like we. Why is this still? It isn't a thing. But we were watching football, which led into a conversation about. 
Guys, I'm gonna pause right here before she continues on to the story. Oh, why is it such a bad thing if I've been with five people of 5,000? Why is it a bad thing if I'm uh, the equivalent of a dirty streetwalker? Oh, why do you care about that? Are you insecure? Yeah, I do care about that. I'm not ashamed to say there's nothing wrong with that. I do care. And if you've had a large body count, I'm gonna dismiss you immediately. Okay, don't let them change your mind about this about someone that I had slept with and so we were talking about it and he was like what and I and I was like put back a little bit and I was like I what do you mean what and he was like he's black I was like yeah I'm I'm fucking aware so I was a little put off by it but then he got like super intense and he was like you fucked a black man and I was like sir <laughs> like he turned into like an exorcist I was like what do what and to be fair at this point the date was over for me but i was like uh i w what is wrong with you and he like went into this whole big thing about i'm not even gonna repeat all the shit that he said about like being dirty and all that and i was like what is wrong so this is where i started to plan my exit and i was like okay how am i gonna get out of here i can't freaking sit here with this guy anymore and i was like all right i'm gonna go to the bathroom i'll be right back now i drove myself so i full-on planned on whatever leaving by myself anyway but i was like okay i'm trying not to ghost people or be like a crazy person he had my phone number so i'm like okay i'm gonna go to the bathroom i come back out he was gone i was like that worked out fucking perfect so i sat at the bar for the rest of the time i met the bartender her name was tara we had a great time and uh what in the actual fuck is dating well congratulations to this man for sticking to his standards a round of applause gentlemen now if there's anyone wondering no it has nothing to do with racism uh the fact of the matter is for a lot of women uh it's like uh, an s3 actual fantasy be with a black guy so it's like this kinky uh a lot of the times um what was the word it's like reckless behavior you know like um again intending no serious relationship with a black man uh, just like an S3 actual fantasy. And this man doesn't F with that. Uh, this man doesn't F with women having their kinky, degenerate uh, dreams and behaviors. So that is why. Again, I'm not saying that it's degenerate to like or be interested in a black man. What I'm saying is uh, it, this woman's fantasy is degenerate, all right? So the equivalent will be for a man, uh, I don't know, to be with like a, a big booty Latino or something like this. I, I can't quite mention a good example, uh, but you get what I'm saying, hopefully. Uh, and again, she has a problem with that because she wants all her degenerate past to matter, uh, to not matter, excuse me, at all for a man. Uh, but this man did, this man found out and he was immediately gone. Congratulations. Now, gentlemen, let's move on to another TikTok that is uh, related the topic we just discussed sometimes i'm like uh i want a boyfriend i want to do fun things i want to go to the beach i want to go on dates i want to make cute little crafty gifts i want somebody to talk to and then every single boy ever in the whole entire world literally like follows more girls than me i have ever followed in my life more girls than I've ever followed in my whole entire life. Not just their mains, but their spams and their friends and their friend spams. And I just... Nutty. Okay, and she starts dancing like a moron. Uh, but there you see, guys, the duality of it, alright? As a man, you cannot be even liking or even following all the women. But as a woman, you're allowed to fulfill all your S3 actual fantasies and be a degenerate and have a terrible dating history, right? If as a man you show any sort of concern or, hey, I really don't like uh, that you had this past where you had all these S3 actual fantasies and you were uh, behaving like a B-word about it and you did all this degenerate stuff. Oh, if you have a problem with that, you are insecure. But then women show up and they are mad uh, that you follow women or that you like their pictures. Notice how there's a massive double standard there. Like we men, uh, they expect out of us to be gentlemen, you know, refined gentlemen from like the 16th century and be chivalrous and all that. Uh, don't even glimpse uh, at all the women. But they, they're allowed to go out, have a body count of 37 people, 
fulfill all their fantasies because, uh, you know, stereotypically, well, not stereotypically, it's true, but uh, black guys tend to have bigger bananas, so th there's that fantasy. Uh, there's no problem with that, right? All that degenerate behavior and, and superficial behavior, you should not have a problem with it. Jeez, just miss me with that. Go to hell. Uh, but gentlemen, we, in fact, will be moving on to our article story. Right? Let me just pull it up. Here it is. I, man, that just downloaded Grinder, and wow, the difference is stark. So, moving back to the topic of dating. I, 32 male, always considered myself at least bi curious, though I definitely lean towards women. I mean, guys, being bi is just uh, more words for being gay, all right? Maybe that's just my opinion, but oh, I'm bi. No, you're just gay. Anyway. That said, I don't really have a lot of dating success. Largely, I think, because of my lack of confidence. Gentlemen, the confidence thing uh, usually is something that you do not... You can work towards confidence and achieve it, but in most of the cases, people who have confidence is simply because they, they reap uh, good results out of their life. And people who lack confidence are usually people who don't reap good rewards. This is why a lot of men don't have confidence, not because they don't inherently possess it or because there's something wrong with them, but just because dating as a man is crap, right? And this is why a lot of women have a lot of confidence, way more than they need, and they become delusional, not because they have won that confidence or deserve it in any matter, uh, but just because that's how dating is for women and they're playing on rookie difficulty. So it has nothing to do with like a personal's inherent abilities, my opinion. I continue. Anyway, I recently decided to explore more downloaded grinder the other day. And yeah, it seems like having a twinkish body and apparently a nice banana can get you pretty damn far in the homo community. I know they're just looking for S3X, but going from not a whole lot of matches to getting a wow, your profile is popular message or whatever. Um, it said on my second day was very surprising to me. So again, just showcasing uh, that the problem are women, right? The problem are not men. Uh, the problem are women, even the ones and twos uh, that don't deserve a, a smile on a good day. Uh, even they having incredibly big standards. Gotta say, it's doing wonders for my confidence. Well, that's ju uh, the thing that I just mentioned, gentlemen. The confidence... Yes, again, you can grow your confidence, but in most of the cases, it has nothing to do with who you are as a person. It just comes off naturally when people show you attention. So notice how this guy has no confidence with women, yet a lot of confidence with men. Dudes way hotter than me are hitting me up. It's too bad I can't translate this success with women. But my understanding is barraging them with pictures of your banana and a-hole doesn't generally go well. Yes, it doesn't. But anyway, gentlemen, uh, we'll close it off here on, on a few thoughts. First off, again, how can you be homosexual? I really don't understand that, guys. Uh, let, let, how do you prefer a fat, hairy, greasy butt rather than women's delicate figure? I really, really don't get it. I mean, let me just play you a video I have pulled up here. Right, check this out. I think it should be illegal to not like that as a man, all right? Uh, it's like, how is it possible? But anyway, gentlemen, uh, a bit of my homophobia uh, speaking here. Sorry about that. Um, let's move on back to the radio story and finish on something a bit more meaningful uh, than me wondering how men can not like a uh, woman's figure. Uh, dating guys, again, the problem are women. The problem are not men. Uh, if you happen to be bi-curious, uh, just go for men. It's going to be a lot more convenient, a lot more easy uh, than dealing with women. The only success you'll find with women is you if you are eight and above. And still, you'll have to look down. Uh, you'll have to look down from your five years of grinding at the gym and amassing money to some six out of ten women that has never done anything with her life and has zero personality. Uh, because she's probably the only one that's going to show you attention, all right? And if you're below eight, I'm sorry to notify, guys, you'll have no success whatsoever in the dating apps. You can try your luck out in the world, out in the wild, to 
maybe try and find that one in a million women uh, that isn't brainwashed by womanism and uh, today's TikTok brain rot. Uh, but otherwise, on the dating apps, you really aren't going to have any success. I'm sorry to notify you. And it has nothing to do with who you are as a person and what your achievements are. Gentlemen, let me know what's your opinion on that. Uh, we'll close the video right here. Bit of a shorter one today. Uh, but a, a one that's fulfilled with meaning, I hope. So if it was, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Patreon if you want more exclusive content. And gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.